And apparently there's going to be police stops as well. So hopefully we don't get stopped, but we've got the license it's with us. It's literally just in the middle of nowhere. I love this place, and you're going to love it as well. Come on, the car. Okay, yeah. okay. The seat isn't actually on properly. It's it's oh, is there an actual language? I That's probably Shaga. From Davao. Whoa. South of the Philippines. They have a common language. Yes, sir. Barbecue. Oh, chicken. Okay. We can see it over there. Oh, the best moment of it all. Oh. All right, let's see how warm this water actually is. Oh. And you see it's venomous. Whoa! What's that? Oh, we got some crabs down here. Look at them all. Man, I can see why people moved to Shaga. Perfectly formed just for swimming. Oh, I'm so excited to get in here. Yeah, so if you are coming here, definitely come on a weekday. You should eat balut. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, I've heard what that is. Oh, is this sizzling chicken? Why looks so good? What is that? Oh, can I try a little bit? Yeah. I see. Blue marlin. Probably 32, 33 degrees, somewhere around there. Oh, there's something happening out there. Oh, should we jump on? There's actually a few nice little waves coming through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Will. Will. Alatin. Alatin? Yeah. How are you? <laughs> I have to try to figure out how much it is per hour. How many times have you surfed, bro? I've been surfing since I was about five years old. Oh. <laughs> is this Sailfish Bay? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, one tau. Look at that. What? <laughs> Everyone's coming in. <laughs> wow. Just finished up. That was... Today we're going to be traveling and exploring around Shaga here down on the southeast of the Philippines. I finally left Manila and yeah, we're going to be exploring this pretty amazing island full of palm trees, rock pools and surfing spots. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to be checking it out. We're just about to fill the bikes up and you'll see my seat's actually pretty screwed. But we've got the lads over here chucking the fuel in. Maurice, our mate from Germany and Nino, who's just picking our other friend up. Uh, who should be here in a second. We suspect there's going to be quite a few police on the way up, so we have got a helmet, license and stuff. So if you are coming to Shaga, just be aware of that. I think there's a lot of stops. You can see these like buggy things, these tricycles, which were in Manila quite a lot. They're all around the island, and it's what I arrived on when we got dropped off at the ferry terminal. We've also got a lot of tuk-tuks, which I think you can actually rent. So maybe after one day, we'll try renting one of those. He looked at me like I was trying to get a ride, but we've got our scooters here, which are, uh, I've seen better, better ones, but it should be all right. We've got lots of water, helmets, the dry bag in case it rains. How long have you been working here for? Almost three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. Only three weeks? Cool. I am from La Union. Where's that? Ilocos. Ilocos. Ilocos from... Is that close to Cebu? Cebu. Oh, okay. Do you like it living here? Yeah, I'm living here. Cool. Do you live, live in here? Nah, there. Cool. What's in here? That's my bar... Uh, barracks. Can I have a look in? Yeah. There's a lot of air conditioning. I won't look inside, it's all good. But it looks interesting in there. It's like a plastic container. It looks like they heat that water up on a plastic <laughs> container. That probably yeah. isn't the safest option for the health, but uh, that's all right. What's, one. A, one. Yeah. what's that? Bread. Oh, bread. Oh, oh, okay, over there. Uh, it's close to here. Oh. Okay. Maybe we try that and get some food. But yeah, we'll stop at some spots and hopefully find some good food on the way up. Coconuts, hydrate. Uh, but yeah, we do have water. If you are doing a road trip, bring lots of water because uh, it's going to get... It's a long trip up and you want to be hydrated. We'll see you later. All right. We are just about set to go. Nino has arrived, so we'll fire it up and start heading off. It was like a zip tie around, or like a hair tie around this break, so we'll see what happens with that. Maybe it was there for a reason, but um, I think it should be all right. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, just got our ticket for the rock pools, and it was about 65 pesos, so actually not too bad. But we've been driving for about an hour or so, and yeah, pretty nice entry arriving here. We've got some guys waving us down. Salamat. And we find a nice spot in the shade for the bike. Oh yeah. Good drive. Yeah. It's pretty long, but it was nice. Oh, right all amongst the, these banana trees. Yeah. Shall I go none to me? Yeah. 
Oh, is there an actual language? That's probably Shaga. From Davao. Whoa. The south of the Philippines has uh, different languages. There's so many languages, like 100 plus languages in one country. Yeah. But there's like a region where we have a common language. Like middle and south is Bisaya, and then north is Tagalog. Whoa. It's like Filipino national language. That's we can so speak interesting. the national language because we learn it at school. That's how we communicate with the North people. But they can speak our language. That's the South. So once you start speaking, they... Yeah, they will like... They're like, oh, who are you? Usually either English or Tagalog. Because sometimes people are more comfortable speaking English. Which yeah. Which is kind of weird <laughs> for a country like this. Yeah, I noticed even in Manila, there was lots of people speaking English. English. Oh, I got some squares. Hello, sir. Hello yeah. how are you? Barbecue. Yeah. Nice barbecue. Response, barbecue. Chicken. Oh, chicken. Okay. After Rockpool. After Rockpool. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. <laughs> uh, we've got loads of shops as well with all sorts of shorts and bracelets. Oh, someone coming past. Got dry bags as well, which I already have. Which should be sweet for the rock pool. But um, yeah, I have seen this place online like once, but I didn't actually know this was the spot we were coming to, so I'm actually quite stoked. Hello. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but during the weekend, it's like feels like. Yeah, it's perfect time to come for the pool. We can see it over there. The pool's just like filled up from low tide or the tide going out. This is so nice. And there's like mini pools there. There's oh yeah, there. you're like bathtub. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll literally be like a full bathtub. We've got some shade under the palms. Oh, the best moment of it all. Ah. <laughs> it's actually quite, quite hot, so we'll keep them on. So you've been here, you've been here before. Yeah, lots of times. Yeah, I thought there would be more people, but. Maybe they are there. Already taking out. Yeah, yeah. Far out. This is incredible. So we got some restaurants all up here. We'll grab some food after. Get some food, some Filipino food. Do we take that those stairs over or do we just walk over here? Uh you should just walk over. Alright, let's see how warm this water actually is. Oh, that's actually it's a wee bit cool. No, it's not too warm. It's not so warm. It's a, it's yeah. nice though. It's not crazy. It's nice. It's like little seagrass, seaweed grass sort of stuff all lining this. This one, like a venom symbol, right? It's a pretty starfish. Oh, what? <laughs> it's a starfish. And you said it's venomous? No, no, it's like venom. Oh, it's venom. I think you said it's like a... Venom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> guy to him. It's so cool. Yeah. There's lots of these too. But they don't really eat that. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> oh, hiding in the sand. Extremely low. Whoa! What is that? Oh, that's uh, what? the English. It's like a snake. Looks like a snake. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, there's nothing really too dangerous uh, in here. So the tide comes like right up here, up to the, yeah. the palm trees. Yeah. Look at this rock formation. Pretty cool. We got some crabs down here. Look at them all. And we've got the pool just over here. Man, I can see why people move to Shaga. Yeah, there's a lot of <coughs> nice uh, place to go. It's a wee bit quieter than Bali as well. Yeah. Like more open. I thought it's becoming more crowded. And, uh, yeah. Up north is way more crowded. It's like a ghost town. Really? What's yeah. what's there to do up north here? This is like in the middle, mid, middle to up north. Right. But it gets quiet from here. Yeah, I noticed the roads are quite, um, quite Compared quiet. To General Luna. Yeah, General Luna is like the main spot, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. here this we are. Is really low, because usually there's still water here, like a small yeah. water. But today it's like the kids' pool really here. Low tide. Oh, right. so oh it's like a pool. small pool over here and then the main main swimming spot. Yeah. Wow. 
This is like perfectly formed just for swimming. What? Oh, I'm so excited to get in here. We'll see how warm it is. Oh, that is the perfect temperature. It's like not too hot, not too cold. Holy. Yeah, this is it's like a big hot tub. So if you want to jump, you climb here. Oh, you can climb the rock and jump off. Yeah. It's so weird how it's so quiet. What? It's like this. This is perfect for swimming. Yeah, so if you are coming here, definitely come on a weekday. Because what? So you can jump off these rocks here as well. We've got a spot for our bags, which is like no water and stuff. Yeah, all like round That's there. That's the rock that I'm telling you about. It's a big rock. If you go further there, it's oh, okay. like a, a baby face. Yeah. Crying baby face. Yeah. What? All right, we're going to jump in. So nice. And apparently you can jump off this rock here as well, so I think we'll be doing that. But I just want to get in. I wish I had a GoPro as well, but um, I might be able to set the tripod up somewhere and then you can see what it's like to swim around in. Lots of, lots of space to keep your bags. And we've got the ocean right here, which might come up while we're still here. I don't know. We've got islands all the way over there. This entire place all to ourselves. There's some sea snakes here as well. Not here, but in the island. But they don't really bother people. Sea yeah. snakes. Sea snakes, the stripes one. Yeah, black yeah. And white. Yeah, I've seen quite a few, but um. They never really like. You know, yeah. Maybe if you try to catch them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, should we jump in? I'm so excited for this. Yeah. How is it? It's not so cold. It's really fresh. <laughs> nice. Alright, we just went for a quick swim. I couldn't bring my phone in the water just because the salt water would have wrecked it. Um, but the guys are still in there, just having a dip. There's a few more people here as well. And I think we're going to head over this way to go into another pool. Um, the tide still isn't coming up. But I'm just standing in these, this water here and it's so warm. It literally feels like I'm in a hot bathtub. And I think we're going to be surfing soon so we'll go head on the bikes after this maybe we'll get some food up at a, a restaurant up here but we have like look at all these rock pools it's so crazy how you can literally just jump right in that one's a wee bit fresher but not as warm as these shallow ones as you would expect yeah the guys are still parked up in there people around yeah definitely come here early in the morning if you are going to come and check this place out or earlier in the day and in a weekday that's the trick i ordered a penny level yeah. ah, okay because it's like a ceviche it's also a filipino one i'll order skinny level you should eat balut <laughs> no i've heard what that is i'm not it's trying that it's everything it's so everything we will go one day to the beach and we're, we're forging to eat balut yeah. we can see here we've got some just ice sticks. Oh, some nice ice creams as well. And then here's the menu. We've got some halo halo, which is pretty popular here in the Philippines. French fries. Oh, kinilawa? Scallop soup. Butter garlic. Kanduyon. I'm just, I don't even know what half this stuff is, but it looks nice. And yeah, this place looks awesome. So get some food we can have a look in here we've got some all sorts of drinks some little a melon pineapple hello how are you and some rice and mini bananas check out that insane view we've even got some jandals here if you didn't bring your own just so you don't cut your feet open on the rocks but you can see that's where we were swimming earlier and we just parked up here ordering some more food or oh, is this sizzling chicken there's not my gravy ground yeah it's only gravy so you can oh gravy okay here we go maybe some uh, vinegar on the rice and egg 
Where is the surfing spot? Is it just up the coast that way? Yeah, right here. Okay. That one as well. That's Santa Fe, I think. Oh, we're like right there. Yeah. Okay. That's almost close to our like area. Which is yeah. Like Twenty minutes away. Shakabra is almost like there. Shakabra. But they don't have a bridge to cross. It. Okay, not as much chicken as I thought. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. So that Ooh, what is that? Oh. Okay, we got some uh, some rice. No. Chicken. <laughs> egg. You don't like it. And then I was got pork sisi. Pork sisi. Can I try a little bit? Yeah, take one. Hey, take one. I don't know if it's spicy. Or, um... It's good. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> it's very spicy. Compared to this, there's like no spice in this. I really want to try some vinegar. So like balsamic maybe. Let's give this a try with some vinegar. Oh, what's in that? Is that it's blue, uh, fish? Blue marlin? Yeah, blue marlin. It's like kind of. It's so ceviche. hard to describe. Yeah, ceviche. I haven't been to ceviche yet. I want to. The seafood actually sounds it's so sour nice. For sure. it's yeah. It's spicy. So we'll mix it. And, then, and what's the yeah. sauce there? Gravy. Gravy, random. Alright, we've got some blue marlin. Give this a wee try. It's not so spicy. Nah, it's fine. And the gravy. You flew from. Breaks apart in your mouth. Salama. And now we're gonna head to the surfing spot, which I'm pretty excited about. And it's about 20 minute on the scooter, so it's not too far away. But it's so nice. We got the tide coming up as well now. There's even like a sand greeting thing over there, but yeah, the tide's coming up. I think we actually have to pay for parking as well, so it's only 20, 20, 20 pesos. So not expensive at all. Really everything needs to come to this place out. Okay, we're gonna protect ourselves from the sun. <laughs> Probably 32, 33 degrees, somewhere around there. But we've got the bikes, so it should be pretty funny, but yeah, I don't even know what one hour is. is. Oh, here we go. We trapped down here, getting off, turn the high beams off. Try to sneak out of here. We ready? I'm ready to go. So it's still low tide, so we have to wait for the tide to come in a little bit before we actually go surfing. So we're gonna try out this coffee shop. Have you been here before? Yes, I love this place and you're gonna love it as well. Sick, North yeah. Dirty Kitchen. Yeah. It's pretty like hidden away. It's literally just in the middle of nowhere on the road. So we head on up. Right in the middle of a palm trees field sort of thing. Up these grassy steps. You can see the ocean just over there. Um, and the tide is coming in, but we just have to wait. And I noticed on the way here, there's lots of barriers for the ocean because there was a typhoon that hit Shark uh, about a year or two ago. So they've been rebuilding it for quite a while. Wow, what a spot. We've got a palm tree that's been fallen over here after a short walk. We're up the top where we can see the surf. Maybe you get a fresh coconut. That'd be perfect right now. Oh, there's even a balance rope as well. That view is so nice though. Oh, there's something happening out there. Oh, should we jump on? I'll try this. Again, again. Oh, that's actually way harder than it looks. All right. The wave is looking pretty good. We're going out there in about half an hour. We're just waiting for the tide to get a little bit, little bit up, and then we're heading out. Quick stopover. Sun's getting a little lower. Almost sunset. Yeah, he surfed, so he just need a board. Yeah. Come on, the car. 
Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, actually, we've got a pretty nice wave here. Get the logs out. There's actually a few nice little waves coming through. So we'll get a, we'll rent a log and head on out there, but I don't know how much the surfboards are going to cost. Just asking who's the one who needs guides, and I told them you surf, so you just need a, a weapon. A weapon. <laughs> okay, cool. Seems to. Oh yeah. What's your name? Will. Will. Alatin. Alatin? Yeah. How are you? That's a pretty nice, nice board. So, I have to try to figure out how much it is per hour. How much per hour is it? This board? Yeah. Uh, just only 200 bro. Cool. But you take first everything. You want, because you didn't need the snack too, so if you have some ramen here, yeah. you can uh, pay everything, okay? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. How many times you surf bro? I've been surfing since I was about five years old. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, that's a good board. It's, oh, it's a good board. A few things, but all yeah. patched up. It's yeah. nice. And it's a pretty easy wave, pretty mellow. Nice. Oh, nice sweet break over there. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, the same, bro. Yeah, this is going to be pretty fun. We'll just wait till the lads get an instructor. But yeah, this is the board. A did, did he, did he? <laughs> no, that's a ditto, ditto. Surf Coast, Shigar, Shagal. But check out this beach. This is really nice. A little bit of a point break over there, but it's way too small anyway. But like right here, we've got some really nice ones. Yeah, we have like a surf shop over here, bathroom, and <laughs> all our friends. So I reckon you're sorted. Oh, this looks good. Gonna have so much fun. Is this Sailfish Bay? Yeah. Yeah. Bam, uh, one tau. One tau. Yeah, one tau spot. One tau spot. Oi! Oh, I want to get out. Ready, bro? Go on your spicy dinner, so good. You starting five years old, ready? You start surfing? Starting? Starting surfing, how old are you? Five years old. Five years old. Five years old. Look at that. What? This is the board, so we're gonna head out now. Everyone's coming in, just coming. Woo! Wow. Right, just finished up. Got the boards. There was some pretty nice waves coming through and the board went pretty well. So we're just gonna head back to the spot now. If you're in Shagya, definitely come and check this point out. I'll put the location down below. So um, the exact location or place that we've rented the boards from, the guys are real nice. So yeah, we're just gonna head back to the spot now in general Luna. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to check out another video and subscribe. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.